Oh, that is a mountain snowball of meat. I'm a mess. Don't know how I got here, but I'm blessed. Didn't know it'd take me past my destiny. You're behind me with the rest. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good to meet you. you. Daniel, what's I'm your name? Sam. Sam, he's my nice. friend, yeah. Sam, nice yeah. to meet you. You just bring your own ramen? Yeah, so oh, like, What is that? Is this a big pot of hot water? Hot water for like the, all the instant noodles are right there. It's, so everyone just buys all these instant noodles? Yeah. And just get like, the water. This actually machine is really popular. Like, there's a lot of outside. They have this outside too? Yeah, so you just put the ramen, cook it like in uh -huh. a bowl, and uh, just go outside and enjoy it. All right, so let me explain what's happening here. So Daniel I met virtually when we were both in quarantine together. Here he got to Korea one day after I did. And then uh, Sam is his local friend. and. Daniel told me about this spot where you can barbecue. So we're on a bolt right now, right? Yeah, we're, yeah. On, a we're on a big, massive bolt. Yeah. So we're about to do some Korean barbecue on a bolt. So you walk in here, and it's like a convenience store, and you grab a basket, and we're about to load up on uh, meat, and we can get ramen too. Yeah. Whatever, whatever we want, and we're gonna go feast by the Han River on a bolt. That's pretty cool. What are we getting here? You like vegetables? Yeah, like let's get some vegetables yeah. for some sun for sure. Got some of this oh, yeah, good yeah. stuff. Uh, let's barbecue some mushrooms. Right. So, what are we getting? We're getting some uh, pork. So, this is the yeah, freezer. This... Let's get some galbi for sure. And this is cow. Yeah, cow get that. Bread. Get the steak. Get some steak. Oh, I just get one of these. Down. Yeah, what is Is that the uh, brisket? Yo, get a ton of these. A ton of these? Right. Yeah, right. that's the good stuff. You guys want hangup sir? Yeah, get some pork belly for sure. I think it's a two hour limit, I believe. Once is it a two hour limit? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get some uh, soda. This is good stuff. You yeah, ever had this? Yeah. Oh, you guys want the peach one? Yeah, there's a peach one. Yeah. Have you tried that before? Yeah, I tried it. So you come out here and you can sit inside one of these uh, booths, like yeah, these yeah. plastic yeah. tents. Mm -hmm. well, I think sitting outside is better. Yeah. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. Ooh. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me. It's really not bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, the meat quality is pretty good. Different sauce, everything is here. Yep. Mm. I'm just gonna toss this on. Hope none of you guys are planning on kissing anyone later today. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of different choices of meat, mm -hmm. but the ones that the guy suggested to us to get, quality is good. It's good. It's charcoal, so the smoke flavor is there. Yeah, this is really nice. Mm -hmm, the view, yeah, this is beautiful. Like I, this is the first time I'm eating Korean barbecue, maybe in my life. That's completely outside. Oh really? Have you guys had it outside? Uh, with my family, like we always go outside and stuff. Like, maybe. Like, well, next to the picnic. beach, no. I mean, I've had hot pot outside. I just never <laughs> yeah. 
had like a hard cold Korean barbecue outside. This is so funny because we're, we're like sitting here eating and there's like grandma's water skiing behind, <laughs> behind, <laughs> water skiing behind us. At night, it's probably prettier. Yeah. There's a like, good day spot, right? If yeah. You, if you don't want bar Korean barbecue, there's a um, chicken restaurant there's chicken up there. Restaurant yeah, up there. Chicken restaurant. You can bring uh, instant noodles over here. Yeah, yeah. This is great. Yeah, no, I like this. Th thanks for uh, introducing this. Yeah, to no me. problem. Oh, Daniel, anyone ever told you you look like David So? <laughs> like, I had to be like, wait, is it David? Am I here uh, with David? My friends say the same thing. Right? Yeah. Dude, it looks just like David So. Yeah. I, I just realized Right? That. Yeah. I've been called David So probably like four years straight. Like. Yo, if you told me you were David So when you met me, I'd be like, I, 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 yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yo, David, what are you doing here? <laughs> Alright. So I put on oh yeah, meat? we gotta yeah. definitely yeah. have more meat on. Okay, what meat do you guys want? We got a bunch of meat, and mm -hmm. the guy told us we don't we got too much meat. Mm -hmm. But he's wrong. We definitely did not get too much meat. We might need more meat. <laughs> so always base it on what you think you can eat. Yeah, this is actually not a lot at all. No. Wow, grow and milky mushrooms, amazing. So he said change the grill soon? Yeah. The beef is excellent. I think my cousin told me about this place. You said uh, in quarantine, you must yeah, thank your cousin yeah. for me. Thank your cousin for me. This is, this is amazing. Charcoal, which is really important. You don't want gas grill mm. on your cream barbecue. So we kind of messed up on the grilling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, owner, the owner came out and was like, what, what the heck are you guys doing? So apparently you can't just throw everything onto the grill. Like there's certain meats that are best with Fresh charcoal or something. Yeah, yeah. Like you're supposed to go in order. Pretty much. We don't we don't know anything. So he came out and just like he's doing it for us now. This is the best cut of meat. All right. That's why the other meats are. Surrounding it, protecting it. <laughs> the owner of this place, this is his prized possession. He's like keeping an eye on this for us. <laughs> he doesn't want yeah. us to overcook this. Also, according to him, we eat a lot. It's not that much food. I'm either. still hungry. <laughs> oh. I've been eating Korean barbecue for years. Now, in, pre in the presence of this barbecue master, I feel like a new. <laughs> you understand <laughs> Like I feel like I know nothing now. I really do. That smells different than the other custom meat that we had. Pretty much that we're not worthy to cook. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. we're not worthy to touch it. We're really not. Yeah. The salt. The salt. That's it. Just a little bit of salt. The yeah. salt. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Oh, that's juicy. Oh wow. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's really good. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. No wonder he treasured it. Yeah. So much. Oh, it's so juicy. Not only is it juicy, you don't need teeth to even chew that. Yeah. Oh, they, like, yeah. He taught me the, the way. Yeah. So uh, after one minute, he yeah. wants me to flip it and then flip it again after one minute. Sammy, do you learn, do you learn <laughs> it? I learned the, the, the secret pass on to you. Don't let him it. down. <laughs> yeah, he's like confirming with it. You don't let, don't let him yeah. down. This is some of the best yeah. piece of pork in the Korean barbecue universe. Mm -hmm. Wait, one minute. I didn't keep track. Sam! <laughs> no! That tastes almost like, I would say, like the Wagyu beef of pork. Let's see if I can replicate it. <laughs> right. I feel like we need him to come back. Yeah. Oh! It's all <laughs> Oh, he's back. Yeah. I trust him. I trust you. Oh, diamond shirt? Yeah. He oh. says to put this on the barbecue? Yeah, yeah. What I'm is that? I've never seen that before. No, no, I've never seen that before. Open it up. How do you get the diamond? <laughs> yeah, you gotta learn how to do the diamond. I That's the beautiful. <laughs> 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 you said you messed up already. You messed up already? He walked away and was watching him. That's like a. What is that? I think it's like beef fat. Or what do we what do we do with it? I think we just eat with it. Oh shit. Uh, 
아, 구워야 돼요? 네, 구워서 아 먹는 거예요. 네, 네 그렇죠. 살짝 살짝. 저희 어. 거는 맛이 없으니까 바로 드세요, 먹으면은. 네. So, you said just eat this right away? Eat it right away, right now? 간식으로 드시라고. So, you use this like a, for, as like a snack. Oh, okay. 나머지는 그렇게 구워보세요. 네. You just like basically like so many things. Do what I taught you. Who remember what he taught? He was looking at One minute, every, every one minute, this is flip. You guys don't seem to be enjoying this very much. It's like very unique. It's like curry. It's like sweet. That's not for me. I don't mind it, but it's like a. It's like it's different. It works your jaw a lot. If you figure out the secret to the diamond. I think so. He like this is a cross. Another reason why Sam is the one cooking Korea. It goes by age thing. It's very important. It's actually really important. They take this very seriously. Yeah, they do. So the youngest person cooks. And the youngest person pours. I think if we eat it right now, it's gonna taste like the barbecue god. <laughs> the barbecue cooked it. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Third time's charm. That was it. Flip every one minute, four times. And then eat right away. That's the secret from the barbecue guys. Alright, that's it. That was good barbecue. That's definitely the most scenic barbecue. And we, we learned some valuable lessons about cooking picnics today. I pray you'll find a way to mend your road. Good hang out with you guys. See you later. All right, dinner time. So I'm in the Honda area, and another person showing me around, Krista here. Hello. She's a chef, <laughs> Indonesian, Chinese. Uh, Chinese Indonesian chef. When I filmed the video, you remember this. It yeah. was a massive tower of bulgogi. Yes. But it wasn't. It was, it was it, kongdul. It was it, fake. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember, it was like sprouts in the, it was like a tower. So it was really like 90% sprouts. Wait, what's this called? It's the sondomi bulgogi, sondomi bulgogi, which is like son, it's just like a big mountain of like, the bulgogi. It just means a big mountain of bulgogi. Yeah. That sounds good. Let's go. All right, what are we getting? So we're gonna get like the sondami bulgogi. Okay. So one portion is 200 grams. So how much? One portion is 200 grams. 300 grams. 300 grams is about 0.6 pounds. Oh, I can do that. Easy. Let's do it. Mushroom corner, sir. Oh, that is a mountain snowball of meat. Oh, that soup is amazing. I'm gonna try this bulgogi. That's the best bulgogi I ever had in my life. Wow, especially the ones with the little crispy parts. In the US, most of the bulgogi I've had is usually marinated, a little sweet. This you can actually taste the freshness of the beef and it's juicy and tender. What kind of broth did they put in here? Beef broth? Amazing. That pickle, we need, we definitely need more pickle. Like a hundred percent. I love this so much. Wow, everything here is good. And what's great is that now that I'm in Korea, I'm actually eating a lot healthier, a lot more vegetables than I've ever eaten in my life. Every bite is just like a rejuvenating experience. This is one of those meals that the more you eat, the more you want to eat. Usually, food has the opposite effect on you, but not here. Not at the deep fountain of youth. Everything is reversed. Oh, 
this is devastatingly good. This is why usually when local people message me, I'll, I'll try to meet up as much as I can because they know a lot of places I don't. This is one of my favorite places now. In the pickles, don't ever come here without eating these pickles. Oh, I can't wait to try these noodles. That's some majestic beef noodle soup. There's a couple things I don't understand about this place right now. One is how good this is, and two, why there's still mosquitoes alive <laughs> at the end of October. I don't understand it. Like, why it, they're everywhere here. I mean, yeah, if I was a mosquito, I'd hang around this restaurant too, but good lord. Oh, that was so fulfilling. You enjoyed it? Oh, so good. Coma's about to set in, but it's all worth it. Good. Oh, so Coma's good. Coma's always good. That's delicious. That is so fluffy. It's not that sweet, which all the Asians love. And the strawberry is fresh. And the cream is fantastically soft. Mmm. And look how fluffy the bingsu is. That is some fluffy snow. Yes. This is exactly what the food gods ordered after that massive mountain of bulgogi. A mountain of floaty, sweet bliss. Oh, oh wow. And they give you all these extra fresh strawberries for free? No, really? They put sugar in the strawberries. It's awesome. So it matches kind of the sweetness of the, uh, of the, of the bean soup. Thank you so much for taking me. All right, well that was a good food day. Thanks so much, Krista, for taking me. Yeah, see you next time. I'm glad you enjoyed it. No, it was awesome. Thank you. Now I can never enjoy bulgogi ever again. <laughs> you ruined it for me, but thank you so much. And I think that's all the food I need for today. Now I gotta find a ride back. Found my ride. Gonna go home after a very fulfilling, satisfying food day. And as always, all the places I went to, listen down below for you guys. And until we eat again, see you later.